a rich culture and an ancient civilization. China has endured its fair share of diversity and emerged an even stronger nation. Admired by generations both at home and abroad, and moving forward without forgetting its roots. China is a blend of the old and the new, standing tall as one of the four ancient civilizations. What's behind China's success stories? Three guests representing different countries embark on a dialogue on civilizations in Beijing, a city that epitomizes the richness and diversity of the Middle Kingdom. Hello, Hi, Mr. Zhang. Hi, Simon Po. 大家好。今天呢是国际中文日，也是二十四节气当中的谷雨节气。按照中国人的礼节啊，我要给大家送上一份特别的礼物。那特别在哪里呢？不是我直接送给你们的，而是需要你们自己去寻找。The Temple of Heaven. Let's look for some clues. Hey, 麻烦您让一让，让一让，我拍个片儿。哎，劳驾，劳驾，我拍一个片儿。哎，小伙子，哎，挡我镜头了。怎么又挡你镜头呢？<笑>你是在拍什么照片啊？这么专业啊？我在拍古文物建筑。那我正好找你讨价讨价呗呀。行啊，可以啊。啊，好，咱们聊聊。这个天堂给我带来的印象非常深刻。但是我有一个问题啊，啊，这个天堂的下面为什么会放这些灰色的帖子呢？你说的是这个是吧？对，它这是为了修缮的需要。哦，一般的情况呢，三五年都会修缮一次。三五年。对，之所以天坛这个文物我们保存的比较好，也比较完整。就是因为呢，每一次的修复基本上都来源于这个我们一些摄影啊、文字记载的记录，这样的话后人才能够更精准的这个进行维修，才有了我们今天能看到的这么美的建筑。今天是中国的传统节气，谷雨，谷雨了，我送你一个礼物，太客气了吧。你看看，喜欢不喜欢？喜欢。这是中国的五谷福袋。五谷福袋。对。太客气了。嗯。我我能看一下里面。可以可以可以。很惊讶吧？<笑>还真的是有谷物。<笑>过去啊，古代，这个、皇帝的这一天，要在天坛呢举行一个祈谷仪式。啊，祈谷。哎。今天呢，我们一起呢，也祈祷天下苍生。现在呢，走，走。Here it comes. Shiyue. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Michael. Yeah, Michael. Nice to meet you. So this is a Shiyue. We have about a hundred sixty square meter for the plot area, but we used a arcade, an arcade structure. To unify the space, and this is a a hai tang. You want to come in up there? Yeah. So that's a mezzanine level. Really cool, right? Drink tea, drink wine. Sunny day. So can we go inside now and like have a look inside? Yeah, sure. All right. Well, it's really warm inside. Like just now, it's really cold outside, and then inside, like it's totally different. So like, is this is it is the AC on or something? It's not about AC. It's a. It is a using a passive house system. The concept is taking fresh air into the machine, right. and then to distribute the, this fresh air 
equally throughout the room.、Wow. So we have a constant, almost constant, temperature and humidity control. So like, is it this warm like even in winter? Yes, about twenty-two degree. Wow, another arch archway here. Yeah, we have Taiwan arches. That's that's why we call it Taiwan Shi Yuan. I see piano over there, like some kind of music room. We usually have a chamber music session here. And this is more like a stage setting. Okay. People go upstairs and they can look at it, looking down into the stage. And the semi-private space is upstairs. So the ground, the ground level is very public for people to communicate, for family get, for family gathering. Well, you mentioned something about like the innovation. Like, what was your original intention? Our our initial intention to make it like a hutong living room. It's more, more like a living room concept. I think it's a good way to show people how today we can modify or renovate the old houses. It's not just about vernacular architecture, but in a way, it's more intelligent. Intelligent, not only passive house or active house, but it's intelligent that、uh, culturally vibrant. Like you, you want to use this space. It's not just something you look at and you pass, or like a tourist, you just. Walk in the Forbidden City, and you、yeah. you just go away. But you can actually, it's more than that. yeah, more than that. You can leave it and use it, and then we expand our lifestyle in a way to welcome more people, more culture. That's really cool. Today is Chinese language. Let's have some tea. Ah, Xiaoxu, right? Yeah, Xiaoxu. I prepared you a present. Really? Ah, you guess what this is? Can you guess? This is definitely something Chinese, but I don't know what it's called. Wood joints, <laughs> sun mao. Sun mao, English is multi-centennial joints, or you can say wood joints. Ah,、uh, sun mao, sun mao. Sun mao. Hmm.、Okay. Mm. Another word to learn. <laughs> yeah, wood joints without nails, basically. Okay.、Yeah. Alright. 古语说，有朋自远方来，不亦乐乎。So my clue leads me to the China Science and Technology Museum. Let's go and find out some advanced technologies over there. Hi, nice、oh. to meet you. So you're the robot Xiao Xin, right? Yes, I am Xiao Xin. We are now in the AI Robot Exhibition Hall. In the exhibition hall, you can experience the display of achievements of different types of robots, such as humanoid robots, robotic arm robots, and somatosensory robots. So good to have you to be my company. While companionship is certainly one of my functions as an AI robot, in real life. People use our strong precision and coordination to involve us in various fields, such as agriculture, medicine, military, service industry, manufacturing, etc. So, what do you want to show me next? Today's visit is coming to an end. I have a gift for you. Follow me, please. This one, right? Yes. Press the red button. That's nice. Like this. Keep smiling. Why my age is forty to sixty? <laughs> you did a really good job. Oh, I look on this picture. This is a gift from me to you. Wow, that's a nice picture. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed the gift. China's intelligent and digital development has encountered a new window period, and we will work harder to continuously improve our senses and accuracy to adapt to the diverse needs of human scenarios. You 们都收到礼物了吗？收到了。你们现在所在的这三个点啊，连成一条线，就是北京中轴线。So what is Beijing's central axis? This rectangular axis, the length is 7.8 meters. 
，北边的端点呢在钟鼓楼，南边的端点呢在永定门。因此呢，我们在这条轴线上面不仅能看到过去的那些古老的建筑，也能看到今天随着北京城市的发展，很多新的建筑、新的生活也涌现出来。Why did the ancient Chinese establish a central axis? 城市营建过程当中。中轴线的规划其实和我们中国古代传统思想当中对于居中这样一个理念的崇拜是有着很大的关系的。So why does the central axis of Beijing reflect the pluralistic unity of Chinese beliefs? 如果我们去看中轴线上面的这些古老的建筑以及它所发挥的功能，我们能找到非常多不同的。文化思想的背景，比如说在中轴线的南段有仙农坛，这是中国古代对于自然神灵的一种崇拜的体现。而与之它相对的是天坛，我们对于上天神灵的这样的一个崇拜相互呼应起来，甚至是我们这条中轴线所体现出来的中正、和谐、方正，也是儒家思想带给我们的很多思考、很多实践。人饮古语。万物滋生，在古语这个特别的日子里面，我们相聚在一起，感受北京中轴线的魅力。让我们一起通过行走，看见中国，了解中国，阅见中国，阅见中国，阅见中国。See you next time.